2017 has been an exciting year in digital health. This is Bertala Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the Medical Futures. It's time of the year when we have to look back and see what has been going on this year. Well, 2017 has been a year of digital health. Here are five stories that stand out of the crowd. First, policymakers. The Canadian government realized that they need to include digital health and automation in their healthcare system. So the Senate of Canada invited entrepreneurs, experts, futurists like me to have their voices heard. Now they released a report that shows the way how healthcare in Canada will be formed by using digital health. Number two, insurance companies. Last year, I predicted that insurance companies would start using health sensors to reward a healthy lifestyle. Well, in 2017, Qualcomm and United Healthcare allowed their patients to bring in devices into their healthcare packages. If the patient lives a healthy life by taking a certain amount of steps every day, they can have rewards, I mean money. Number three, physicians. In the work radiologists do, Algorithms can help a lot. And this was the year when the first peer-reviewed studies came out, showing how deep learning algorithms can contribute to the job radiologists do. So I don't think that artificial intelligence will replace radiologists, but those radiologists who use AI will replace those who don't. Number four, medical communication. Chatbots, um, AI-controlled, uh, messaging services and voice control bots are changing the way we communicate in medicine and healthcare. Actually, these chatbots can contribute a lot even to by answering basic health questions or helping in patient management, such as with appointments. For example, Babylon Health has been tested by the British NHS to change to replace their phone service and to see how chatbots work in action. Number five, pharma. The first drug with a sensor was approved by the FDA in 2017. It means when patients take the drug with the sensor, physicians from a distance can check whether the patient took their medication and how it's being digested. That's a new way of personalized medicine, plus it can help a lot uh, with patients who have mental health conditions. So all these great stories have been going on in 2017, and as it was such an exciting year, just imagine what could happen in 2018. Well, check out in my next video. Thank you.